Hello friend, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the catapult so that way you can become a catapult master just like me. Uh, to use the catapult, what you have to do is you have to pull back on it here and the further it goes back, the more you can chuck your stuff that you go and put in it. Then you got to load it with a rock and then you aim it and then you let it go. You have to get about halfway before it will go. Otherwise, it will just kind of fling forward and it won't work. So it actually has to be grounded. If you can, oh, yeah. work with the teammate because that way it, it loads so much faster. And, and you can see here between oh, then yeah. and before, it's about like two, three times as fast. So it's pretty awesome. That's the stuff. Where you actually release it is... Hey! You, well, one of the things you're going to have to do is you're going to have to defend yourself all the time. So make sure that you're really good at doing 1v1s and 2v1s because otherwise you're going to have a bad time and you're not going to be able to get much work done. But know that once you uh, catapult someone, it will usually put a heavy vendetta for your head and their heart and they will hate you forever. And so you're going to have to shame them and teach them who is king of catapult. Anyways, okay, catapult is not to be used oh, yeah. on your teammates and if you haven't noticed already i've actually been sneaking behind the enemy lines and using their own catapult against them i'm trying to be very sneaky right now. we're pretending that we are very sneaky and that we're blue so i'm not i'm trying not to move very much so that way i don't activate people's peripheral vision and then wait till a good moment and then i can take that them all down Another thing you can do is you can swing, you can knock that lever there on the left side and that will throw the uh, catapult if you need to for any reason or if it gets stuck like that at the end. Be careful not to throw your rock on the ground by preloading it, sometimes it gets stuck but that's okay, just grab it and put it back in there. The catapult is aimed between the like metal latch there at the top and kind of the wooden, the wooden beam on the left side. At least at this camera angle it will change a little bit between each camera. Load it show you here zoom in in zoom in in kaboom so even if you don't have the catapult you can also get a lot of points being the catapult loader and don't underestimate this is as, as long as your catapult person is doing a good job those points really really add up they can easily put you on top of the scoreboard so don't think that this is just some like terrible job it's 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 really good what you can do is you can preload the first one nice and that'll kind of, you know, have you a thing to throw so you don't have to go back and maybe somebody will steal it. But what you can also do if you're a cool teammate is you can jump on top of there and you can throw them and you can take them into the into the engagement and you can follow up with a, 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 a big kaboom. Two of the best things that you can do with a catapult is to take out other catapults or ballistas or large groups of people doing a charge. And if you can't do that, you can also do the objective. But the risk with doing the objective, especially if you're on the defending team, is you can knock out everybody who's coming. But you might also knock out everybody on your team. And if there's nobody standing there, not even just one guy, it will still get pushed forward. And so it's a risk with every single time you attempt that versus the catapult or the ballista being taken out or that group of people is no risk at all. And if you're having problems negotiating whether or not uh, you should be doing something in a given particular oh, yeah. situation, you can always go and practice against boss and launch these levels that have the catapults at the beginning. And then that will allow you to see when the bots and stuff kind of group up and where you can go for them and nice kind of get one. those ranges down. And you can have that and then just relaunch it over and over rather than trying to hope that you're the guy who gets to use the catapult in a live game and you know you're hoping you get that map loaded up you can just create that condition yourself and i mean innocent people grouped up together who are ready to get uh, smooshed nice are pretty one. much the same whether they're bots or not and honestly you don't get that many chances to use the catapult anyway so the bigger bang for your buck nice the better one. and as you play the game you can learn more and more different areas and different spots you can kind of memorize them in your mind nice so that you one. automatically know how far to pull the thing back and just try and memorize those spots so that you can immediately run up to it and just throw it out oh, and yeah. take out that whole position there's no thinking there's nothing that you have to do it's just concrete the same action over and over and over because at least at this point they don't move 
This is one of my favorite defensive catapult positions because it has a revolving door of two different catapult teams, about six people, and you can just go back and forth nice smashing one. each one, and then they'll just be replaced by more people, and you can just smash them again. It's great. Checking your power levels of your catapult is pretty easy. All you have to do is look at the power bar here for your power level, and once it gets to the R, you can launch it. And then at that That's point, you have you to get. kind of either look at it visually and memorize it, or you can kind of timer it where you're like 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, or something like that, keeping That's like a beat. Stuff. So you can get that that that, that vocal uh, tone in your mind, and you can have the, the visual meter. And if that doesn't work, you can also look and pick like a point on the catapult, like a hook or something, and then line it up with a different part of the catapult and get kind of a gauge of how far you're throwing it. As long as you keep your camera consistent, it That's should be the I same, thought. just like if you change the dramatic camera angle, it's not going to be, it's not going to be going Going where I'm aiming it in my video so as long as you learn that and adapt it to how you prefer it will work for you the idea is consistency when trying to aim something well I hope you've enjoyed the catapult guide today so hopefully this has helped you to learn enough about catapults so that you can get out there and start catapulting on your own if you like this video go ahead and subscribe like hit the bell all that nonsense you know whatever uh, so <laughs> Hopefully I included enough videos for you to uh, kind of figure out where you wanted to aim and kind of the different spots for the different blisters and catapults and things, at least for the first few uh, DLC maps and stuff. Thank you for watching the video. Goodbye, friendos. How do you expect to catch any fish without one of these? Huh? What's that? I can't hear you over the sound of my own girth. This is a fish. <laughs> sound is girth. <laughs> girth. <laughs> Maybe if you fish enough, you'll have strong muscles like me. <laughs> Later, nerds. I have to go lift your mom. <laughs> Dusty D. Nelson. <laughs>